Hi everybody, I'm Michelle Sloan and I'm the writer of the Animal Adventure Club series. There's two already out. There's The Baby Deer Rescue, The Baby Otter Rescue, and today I am super excited to show you brand new The Baby Red Squirrel Rescue. And I'm actually going to read you a little bit of this right now. I'm going to dive into chapter three. The next day was Saturday. Time for the camping trip. It was a bright sunny afternoon at Pit and Dewey Nature Reserve and the loch was calm and still. This crate is pretty heavy considering there are only three wee water voles inside, said Buzz. He and Lexi held one side each, carrying it carefully down to the boat sheds. Isla and Gracie carried another crate. Every so often, there was a squeak and a bump as the water voles moved around. I know, said Gracie. We've only got two and my arms are aching. Hey, we should be taking fishing rods, said Buzz. There's plenty of trout in Loch Dewey. Ew, said Lexi. No way. I'll stick with my flask of baked beans, thank you very much. Lisa was waiting for them at the boat sheds with all their camping gear. After they'd put the crates down carefully, she helped them into life jackets. Right, let's go through some safety reminders, Lisa said. Life jackets must be worn at all times. No standing up when the boat is moving. Store the oars properly when you're not using them and dock the boat with the correct knot when you land on Mungo's Island. The way I showed you earlier. Lexi, are you paying attention? Lexi was kneeling down beside the crates and peering through the mesh on one side. I know I say this about almost every animal I see, she said, but these water rats, I mean voles, are the cutest things I've ever seen. Lisa rolled her eyes. They are cute, Le Lexi, she said, but remember, I know, I know, sighed Lexi, standing up again. They're wild animals. Here's the walkie-talkie I promised you, said Lisa. Gracie reached out to take it and placed it carefully beside their food supplies. Right, let's get going, said Lisa. Help me load the crates into my boat first, please. I can take your camping gear too. Lisa clambered into the boat and Buzz and Lexi handed her the two water vole crates. Then, in a human chain, they all passed the camping gear. Once the boat was loaded, Gracie untied it and shoved it away from the pier. Lisa reached for the oars and began slicing them through the still water. See you at the other side, she called. Right, our turn, said Buzz, awkwardly climbing into the boat, which tipped under his weight. Whoa, giggled Lexi. Falling in wouldn't be the best start, Buzz. Buzz chuckled. Pass me the food bag and the walkie-talkie. I'll keep them safe at my feet. Oof, that bag is heavy. Lexi hauled the bag over to Buzz. Is that a biscuit tin in there? We're only going for a night. We've got to be prepared, Lexi, said Buzz, grinning. I'm feeling pretty hungry already. They all clambered in and settled themselves onto the benches. Then Lexi untethered the boat. Pushing away, Buzz and Gracie rode off. At first, they just went round in a circle. Everyone giggled as they practiced getting the boat to go in the right direction. But soon Buzz and Gracie found their rhythm and everyone was beaming. Looking good, guys, shouted Lisa from her boat. I wonder what animals we might find on the island, said Isla. I don't know, Isla, but I can't wait to find out, said Gracie, gazing out at Mungo's Island. It's going to be the best night ever. And as you can imagine, there's lots of excitement, a big adventure, and crucially, the rescue of three baby red squirrels. So I hope you enjoy reading it. Thanks for listening. Bye.